<laughs> you can't run when you got no stamina. <laughs> How's it going everybody? My name's Chipper and welcome back to another video on Escape from Tarkov. So if you had to ask me which weapon in 12.12 .12 at this stage of the wipe that I feel most confident with with pushing PMCs or Chad players, it would have to be the Vector lineup. When I was running around with either the 9mm variant or the Vector 45 variant, I had an absolute blast and these weapons are insanely effective, especially since the leg meta change which actually means blacked out limbs distribute the flesh damage appropriately now. Now, in saying that though, there are some pros and cons to using which or which variant would be better. Obviously the nine mil um, vector does have the ability to run the 50 round bags, um, magazines, and that's a massive advantage. Having those um, ability, uh, those rounds in there, especially at the fire rate at 950, it doesn't take long to burn through the rounds, but also, to just make sure you've got enough for a second or even third opponent. But in saying that though, it does come with some negative drawbacks. The rip rounds have the 20% increased recoil stat. So while on paper, the gun does look like it's got lower recoil compared to the 45 variant, the nine mil does suffer because of that increase uh, plus 20 stat on the bullet. So the, the guns kind of even out if so to speak. But the advantage you do get with the Vector 45 though is fire rate. You get um, 1100 RPM, which is absolutely insane. The If you come up behind someone unsuspecting, there's almost nothing they can do. It feels like you can leg meta someone quicker than you can just shooting them in the chest at times with a AK, um, sorry, a Mark uh, 47 at times. It is that insanely strong. Now a lot of that's due to the fact that these 45 rip rounds have 137 flash damage. It only takes a few rounds to drop someone in the legs now. Not to mention even if you do clip them there's a chance that you're going to have them heavy bleeding or light bleeding as well. And there's no recoil penalty on this gun. So the horizontal and vertical recoil while it doesn't look as good it's still quite strong and the fire rate is just insane. You do, you can pretty much have to rely on hit and run tactics depending on how well you can clip someone's legs. Obviously, if you can get the sneak advantage on a, on a team, you can take out one guy relatively easy and then you could just dump on the other guy, but then you're gonna have to retreat because of the long reload times with these mags or this weapon, I should say. Now, in saying that though, there is a cheaper alternative to using rip rounds, which are in short supply, and that is the Hydroshock. Hydroshock rounds are 105 flesh damage, and they only got the chance to heavy bleed, but it's a higher, it's a fairly high chance though, which is still good, um, which means you can bleed people out quite effectively. And this is still more flesh damage than the nine mil variant of rip rounds. So these three more flesh damage at 105. So it's a really good deal to just run maybe two or three mags with rip and then the rest of them with hydroshock so that way you're sort of saving some of your rounds so um but definitely give those two rounds a try you won't won't be missed the nine mil variant really only has the rip rounds um there are like quake maker rounds which you can use but by that stage you're starting to tip towards the fact that a clean or a keta b can be used uh, can be used with sp7 rounds so it depends on which way you want to go here. Obviously, there's a budget alternative, um, but yeah, it's not really worth it when it comes to the 9mm. Anyway, guys, these are my recommendations. I highly recommend you give them a go um, at this stage of the wipe. They are phenomenal. Um, the reason I do bring this up, though, is that I have been seeing a change in the meta. 
I think players are starting to slowly realize, I think due to, to the uh, ammo availability, that these, especially when it comes to the 9mm rip rounds, you can actually buy them on the flea market quite consistently, even being quite expensive, but they are very effective if used correctly. I'll show you some highlights between the two different guns, mostly on customs, but I think a few shoreline raids as well. Um, and then you can see the, the, the effectiveness for yourself. Obviously, it, there are situations where you want to bait players towards you um, to try and expose their legs. And just knowing when to use it is always something that you need to sort of experiment and learn and almost unlearn on how you would normally play the game rather than going for headshots. Anyway, guys, let's dive into some of these clips. All of these clips were done live on uh, my Twitch stream. I stream three nights a week, um, uh, starting at 8 p.m. ish uh, most nights. So I'll leave a uh, information up on the screen now. We'd love to have you guys come out and check it out. That'd be fantastic. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you out there. Yeah, that's where it sounded like he bailed to. Not sure, but then. Bit risky. I wonder if he just went upstairs. I didn't take spare ammo. I love how quick you can reload these mags. Back to go burr. I had to pull the gun down for that one. <laughs> Those dudes.
extreme deafness. So funny watching them fall. He's very mean. He got hurt. Oh, you got me. Yeah, I've got nades. Man, that flashlight's really fucking annoying, though. I know where he is, but he's protecting his legs now. been him yeah Sounds safe, boy.
Into the playoff? <laughs> what? Um. What the fuck is this no. loadout? Oh, guy got folded. Yep, help us help us save the bacon. That ballsy bastard, he pushed that. Just him. Fifty four. Let it all made you go. Went down the stairs.
Look at these hurting. I wonder if he even hit him at all. Surely we did. He looked like he was slowed down. Crap, is that his blood or is that the scav's blood? Oh, wait. Did he die? No way. No shit, he bled to death. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. What the fuck is this dude? Uh, something tells me that the, the gear that he took did not plan out for him. <laughs> we upstairs. chat Black Meta Got a face shield too. <laughs> Gotta be sneaky breaky. than one.
You think you can juke him? Wait, what? Did he just trap himself in there? I wonder where he went. <laughs> I got the black lug pa. Do we go in? I love this gun. Yeah, it's oh, it is the best thing. Absolutely love it. Someone hit metal just before. They're in the metal on the inside the crates. one more thanks for watching another video guys if you really enjoy this content i really appreciate a like it really does help me out 
as well as you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos anyway guys thanks for watching and until next time i'll see you back out there